Well, as the Mid-Island region braces for another potential flood, the South Island is dealing with an overflow of its own at the Souk Reservoir. For the first time this year, water has spilled over the top of the dam, and that may be a good sign for the coming dry summer months. But all of that extra water is actually going to end up costing you. A News reporter Maggie Cox was at the reservoir today. She joins us now live with more. Maggie. Hudson, the Souk Reservoir is the main water source for Greater Victoria, and the CRD says judging from its current levels, there should be more than enough to meet Victoria's water needs throughout the spring and summer months. The Souk Reservoir is so full, it's bursting its seams. The average person in Greater Victoria uses 280 liters of water per day. That's just a drop in the bucket here at the Souk Reservoir, where the 92,727 megaliters of water is starting to overflow. We've had a couple of overflows since we raised the dam in 2003. I think this is the fourth one. Uh, and it really, what it means is that this summer, we're going to have lots of water on hand for the, the dry seasons. As a result of our wet fall and winter, the dam started overflowing yesterday, which is fairly early compared to previous years. But we didn't break any records this year. In 2006, the reservoir overflowed in December. It seems to be feast or famine because we've had some months when we've had uh, rain way above the average, and then we've had other months which are supposed to be wet or way below the average. And I think it's the climate change issue that's, that's really we see here at play in that it's unpredictable. The weather patterns are unpredictable. Jensen says if it stops raining anytime soon and remains dry through the summer, the water supply could be in trouble. But he says that's highly unlikely, adding that we don't have much to worry about when it comes to water in Victoria. In fact, Jensen says Greater Victoria is on the cutting edge of water conservation. Over the last 10 years, there's been quite a significant growth in, in Victoria in terms of people moving in and new buildings. Yet, despite that, our water usage has remained flat. It hasn't increased. So that shows you that we are conserving, conserving very well. Perhaps a little too well. As of January 1st, the average household's water bills increased approximately $21 per year, due in part to the fact that we're using less water, not more. What happened last year, we, it was the first year in, in living memory that we weren't able to accurately predict uh, the amount of water usage. And it was largely because of that poor prediction that put us in the red. Jensen says another reason why you're paying more for your water is because the CRD has built a new ultraviolet plant and has also acquired a new watershed. Now, Hudson, the CRD says that although Victoria's water consumption is low compared to most cities this size, there is always room for improvement and that water conservation should be on the top of everyone's priority list. Brown lawns became a status symbol a few years ago around here. Maggie, thank you. Thank you.